let's learn about the props in react.js what is props react allows us to pass information to a component using something called props which stands for properties react components are like javascript functions they accept arbitrary inputs called props these props are like function arguments in javascript and attributes in html we can pass props to any component same as we declare attributes for any html tag as you can see here we can pass props in functional component like shown here just pass props as an argument of that and access props different properties using a dot operator like props dot name same for the class component but only difference is that we have to use this keyword because we are using it in the class component in the third part we can give a props as a name equals sarah to welcome component let's understand this by an example in this example we are creating a directory which contains details of different cars create one file and name it as cars.js i'm creating this using a functional component in this file we will render more than one car so we need a child component to render car details let's create another file and name it as car details.js same as cars.js we will use a functional component again let's add some details like car name car color and its type save this and import it in the cars.js file don't forget to import this cars.js file in the app file and it is displaying all the details let's give it a little bit style to this car details component it looks fine now let's pass the props in this car details we can pass props same as html attributes here we are going to pass name first pass props in argument of car details and write console.log and props here in the car details.js as you can see in the console props is like an object with key value pair here it's a name and its value let's access this name value using a dot operator add more props here like color and type it is showing each prop here change this data and use color and a type values from the props let's add more cars here and it's working great each car component have different props now suppose if you want to pass a variable and not as not a string as a props let's create one variable name it car name and give it any value we can pass this variable using a curly braces
and it is showing perfectly. Now if you want to pass a whole object which contains the card detail, first let's just comment out this other details. and create one car obj having a car name color and car type and pass this whole car object inside curly braces as a data now as you can see in the console we are getting the whole data object We just have to write props.data.property name. And it's working great. Let me show you how you can use these props in the class component. For that, let's create one class component with the same name and copy everything from a functional component to a class component and remove this functional component we just only have to make a small change here remember as we have seen earlier we are using a class then we have to use this keyword before props this keyword refers to an instant of of the class component so make this little changes save it and it's working there is one more thing here if there is a constructor in your class component then you must have to pass props to that constructor and also in the super just like this remember props are read only you will get an error if you try to change their values. We are not allowed to modify the content of a props, whatever the type of component is, functional or class based. None of them is allowed to modify their props. That's the end of this video. I hope you understood everything. Thanks for watching.